All right, Shalom, I'm going to begin this lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Rakah, Kadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sense brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, I want to say Shalom to the believers, you know, the Akim as well as the Akwath, which will be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So, yeah, just wanted to go into another quick lesson, which I want to simply entitle The Process, which I have this word queued up. And the definition reads, a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. And this can very well be applied to the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which the scriptures encourages us to consider, you know, from life itself in the form of man and beast, which starts off as a seed, but eventually grows into its perfection. And that's the same with trees and plants, which also starts off as a seed, but eventually grows into its fullness. Well, guess what? This also applies to salvation. Salvation is a process, man, which starts off with this word, which would be considered a seed. And this idea can be proven when you go right here to the book of Luke, the eighth chapter, and the 11th verse. It says, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of the Most High. See, the seed is the word of the Most High. And again, like all the works of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, there's a process, like we mentioned, life itself from man to beast, even to the trees and plants, where they all start off as a seed, which eventually grows into its perfection. Well, guess what? That's the same with salvation. Salvation is a process that starts with this word, which again is compared to a seed. See, let's read this again. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. See that in his heavy, when you consider certain fruits, such as cherries and plums and peaches, well, the seeds within those respective fruits are known as stones, which a stone symbolizes a foundation. Well, that's the same with a seed. Just like you build off a stone or a certain foundation, well, it's no different than with a seed. The seed is the foundation. Okay, just like you build off a stone or a certain foundation, well, it's no different than with a seed. The seed is the foundation in which we grow into our fullness. And in this case, the manifestation of our salvation when our Lord returns. Well, guess what? It starts off with this word. That's the process. This word is the first step, if you will, on this path that we have embarked on. See that? Which brings me right here. To the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter in the 18th verse, it says, but the path of the just is as the shining light. Yeah, which this word path is a metaphor for this truth and the very doctrine that we subscribe to. Matter of fact, let's prove that before we continue. This is the book of Psalms, the 25th chapter and starting at the fourth verse. It says, show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths, lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation, on thee do I wait all the day. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths, lead me in thy truth, and teach me. So you see right here where the idea of being taught in the word truth is in the same breath with path. See that? So pretty much when you come across the word path or way in the symbolic meaning of those words in relation to the scriptures, well, it goes back to this truth, this doctrine. See that? So when you go back here again, to the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, and again, the 18th verse, it says, but the path of the just, and again, this path right here would be a metaphor for this truth. 
And there's a couple of reasons why the scriptures refer to this truth or the doctrine that we subscribe to as a path. Well, for one, this is what leads you back to your power. Yahweh Ultimately meaning you will be led to salvation. See? By taking this path. But also when you consider a path or a way, a road, a street, or whatever, well, they capture the very essence of a process. Whenever you go on a journey, that's a process. Which of you ever jumped in your car and arrived at your desired destination instantaneously? No, it was a process. You actually had to travel that road. See that? And that's the very idea of coming into this truth. You have to continue. You have to tarry in it. See that? Again, it says, but the path of the just is as the shining light. And this shining light symbolizes you being enlightened. So for those of you who are enlightened, it's because you have embarked on this path, meaning you subscribe to the teachings of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, which is set up an effort to open the eyes of the blind. See? And to enlighten you again, but the path of the just is as the shining light, see? That shineth more and more until the perfect day. And what does it mean when the scriptures say that this light will shine more and more until that perfect day? Well, simply put, meaning as long as you continue in the faith, then you will be enlightened day by day. Things will uh, become clearer and clearer. And that's the same with being on a journey. You know, when you're on a path, you might pass by certain landmarks and signs to let you know where you're at on that journey. Matter of fact, let me grab something real quick before we continue. This is the book of 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter. In the first verse, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand. Yes, yeah, so this is the scriptures giving you a vivid illustration, if you will, concerning this path or this journey we have embarked on. And like all journeys, there are certain landmarks and signs that you pass as to indicate where you're at in that process. For an example, if you take a trip to a neighboring city where well, you actually pass signs, you know, it might say you're 120 miles out of this respective city or 80 or 40 miles and so on and so forth. Well, guess what? That applies to this journey we on, this path we have taken. There are certain signs that pass in the form of prophecies that will give us more understanding, enlighten us on where we at in this journey. See that? So when you go back here again, to the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, and again, the 18th verse, it says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more. And this, again, translates to being more and more enlightened, giving more and more clarity concerning the things that's happening around you. You know, things becoming clearer and clearer as you see the prophecies unfold and the signs pass. See that? But the catch is, in order for you to become more and more enlightened, then you have to continue on the path, man. You have to continue in the journey. You have to continue in the doctrine. Matter of fact, let's go there. This is the book of St. John. The eighth chapter, in the 31st verse, it says, Then said Yahweh Shah to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So to continue in his word means to continue the path, to continue in his journey. Now, when you go into this word, continue, Continue. And this is from a simple Google. It says, persist in an activity or process. See? Or process. And that pretty much brings this lesson full circle, which we opened up with this definition right here. Process. See? It says, 
a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. See that? In order to achieve a particular end. See that? So that's the very idea of, of a process or going through the process of something. It's all an effort to achieve a particular end. See? So that's why when you go back here to Proverbs, the fourth chapter, and again, the 18th verse, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day, which is ultimately the end of this process. So for those of you who continue in the process, who continue in this truth, well, ultimately, at the end of this process, that salvation, which is a process, will be physically manifested at the return of our Lord, Yahweh which will be that perfect day. So yeah, I just want to touch on that, Lord willing. It was edifying. Until the next time I say, Shalom.